Hi everyone, uh, just a tiny video in order to uh, show you the one of the last integration that the Matomo team developed uh, through the keyword and search performance uh, premium feature. So they had already uh, the integration with uh, the Google Search Console, they had the integration with Bing and Yahoo, and today I got the chance to uh, give a try to the Yandex uh, integration. Uh, by chance, the documentation provided by the Matomo team is really clear, so it allows you to make the integration without any uh, issues. Um, the Yandex integration is a bit more difficult than the one of the Bing Webmaster API, which is really, really straightforward, uh, though it's still uh, doable and, and very uh, accessible, uh, so it won't take you much time in order to do it. Regarding the search console to me, the Google search console to me, that's the worst, that's the one which is asking you the more work. But uh, I will say for this one and this one, anyone can easily uh, do it. So um, it's interesting if you have international projects in which uh, Yandex is at stake. So typically the case with, uh, with Russia, for example. Um, so it's really straightforward to register yourself to the Yandex uh, search uh, console. You don't have uh, much to do. It's the same uh, concept. It's just that the file which is uh, generated in order to show the ownership is different from one site to another compared to Google, on which uh, that's exactly the same, the same website uh, name uh, identifier. So. Uh, this is how it looks like uh, for the Yandex Webmaster tool, and the idea is, of course, to pull out all those data and to import them within uh, within Matomo, uh, so as the query statistics and so on and so forth. So here, for example, I have just one query so far, uh, which is this one, uh, which just generated one impression, and what I did, they just uh, uh, configure it within the search performance plugin by just giving, I think it was, um, yeah, it was just a link between uh, Matomo and, uh, and Yandex. Um, the data have been uh, sent, um, I would say, kind of straight away. Uh, in the same day, I started to get those. So, of course, uh, you always need to play with the calendar here properly in order to get the data because those are not uh, real-time uh, data. So, for example, for the current day, we cannot get it and so on and so forth. But for the past data where well, you can uh, you can get those so as you can see here uh, it will be within the search engine and keyword so this is for google this is for bing and yahoo and you get as well the additional uh, one for uh, for yandex here you get the classic uh, metrics uh, in terms of impression in terms of average position and so on and so forth um, and over here within the crawling overview you are getting uh, the additional part which is the crawl overview for uh, yandex with uh, the different uh, metric which are sent here um, i'm currently trying to push out as well all those data as a roll-up of uh, many different websites uh, i sense that there is currently a tiny bug so it will work for uh, the keywords of Bing and Yahoo and Google and have like a full overview of many of your website with all the ranking and so on and so forth. But for Yandex, it seems that it's not working yet. I guess it's just a tiny fix that the Matomo team need to do. Uh, and uh, this is what it is all about. So um, I will say that this is a really great and interesting uh, integration for an international project because thanks to a rollup, you can really have an overview of all your website in one place performing with all the different keywords and ranking position and so on and so forth, uh, which allows you to not go for every account within your down next search console, Bing search console and go one by one and have everything in one place. And I think this is really the huge added value of this keyword performance integration. Well, probably we could uh, argue that uh, they're still missing some search engines, just the one of South Korea, just the one of, of China. But uh, I think it's interesting for European projects. Hope uh, you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.